Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. And today I want to talk about this ambitious thing you know, that Skyrim did, where they add dragons into the game, right? Now, um, something I've noticed about Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim uh, that I really, really like about all of them is that they have ambitious goals in them to do things, you know? Morrowind, I feel like... Um, you know, just from watching The Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, I feel like Morrowind really tried to hone in a cohesive world, one where a lot more things made sense, things were linked together, that sort of stuff. Um, but then, you know, Oblivion, of course, with their... They tried to do Radiant AI, but it would break quests and stuff like that. Um, but they really tried to make Oblivion, I think, their living, breathing world. And Skyrim... Um, they went for a more Oblivion 2 type build, which I think was great. You know, they added dragons, and, you know, that's one of the ambitious things about Skyrim is the dragons. And, you know, I definitely think it's pretty good. Of course, as you level up, the bottom tier dragons really, you know, they don't, they're not too big of a threat. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but then, you know, dragons are always a threat. You know, I find that they're still, most of the time when I'm playing, I definitely can't casually fight a dragon. I definitely have to pay attention to what I'm doing, you know, because I can make maybe one or two mistakes and then I'm done, you know, I'm oofed. And the dragon, you know, takes me out and I have to restart fighting it again. I like that aspect about the dragon, so I like that ambitious, you know, it's the big creature, you know, because there was no real big creatures in Oblivion, at least that I know of. I don't know if they are in Shivering Isles. Um, I haven't played through all of Shivering Isles, but there's no creature as big as a dragon in Oblivion, other than Marinus Dagon, but even then, he's not exactly something you can kill, you know, whereas a dragon, you kill a dragon, you know, you frickin' slay it, you get these dope rewards, um, definitely Shadow of the Colossus vibes, but with a Bethesda spin on it. And I, I think that's something that um, was really good for Skyrim, you know. Um, I definitely like their AI. Um, like, compared to Oblivion, I will say, so let me back up a little bit. Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim all have this problem where they tried to make their people, you know, lifelike, I will say. And... It's, you know, an illusion, and it's hard to keep that illusion up, but I'm gonna say, you know, Skyrim definitely improved on the way that they did stuff in Oblivion. You know, not so much to where it's the first thing that Oblivion was shooting for with their radiant AI, and just the living world, the things happening, and someone walks in a store, like, they, someone walks in a store, buys all the armor. You wanna buy armor? Screw you, someone else bought it. That doesn't happen in Skyrim or Oblivion, but, you know, it shows that there's still improvements being made, and we can make fun of it as much as we want, but eventually there, I think Bethesda keeps doing what they're doing, yeah, there's going to be a time where, you know, all these videos of Skyrim AI, Morrowind, Daggerfall, Oblivion, you know, every, every game, those won't happen in, um... Elder Scrolls whatever, 10 or something like that, you know, 50 years down the line. So, let me know what you think about that, that ambitious dragons, man. I mean, do you think it was smart? I mean, I think it was smart, you know, I think it was really good. I think it added a lot to the game, and it just shows that, that was like, as much as we can make fun of Bethesda for re-monetizing Skyrim all the time, and Fallout 76 being bad, and Fallout 4 being weird, Skyrim, it's still... It's still good, you know, it still improved a lot, and it still had ambitions that succeeded very well. You know, I think the dragons are one of the best things that are about Skyrim. You know, one of the th ambitious projects that really succeeded in it. So, let me know what you think about that in the comments below, guys. That's it. I'm Seth the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode stream vlog or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.